All right. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, this is Patrick. I'm signing in to talk to you uh, just for a few moments. I want to give you uh, just a little bit of encouragement today and uh, remind you that in the midst of these uh, crazy days, the Lord is still in control. Uh, I was driving along today and I was thinking of, of Psalm 4610, uh, where the the Lord says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And as I was thinking about that, uh, I was also thinking, uh, you know, that's a that's a helpful reminder to us uh, of what the Lord is doing. But uh, I was also reminded of the larger passage, which is really interesting. If you look at the rest of Psalm 46, listen to this from, from the whole chapter. Uh, it really speaks to our, our time and our age right now. It says, uh, Psalm 46, for the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to the Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountain make, make uh, mountains quake with their surging. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. And what uh, this verse, uh, this verse in the midst of this chapter reminds me of is, uh, as the psalmist writes, they're not just thinking of uh, being still with God. They're thinking of all the things that are going on around them. Wars and uh, chaos. The, if the mountains are thrown into the sea, if everything is in upheaval, uh, that we still trust in the Lord. And so as I was driving today, uh, I was thinking about this, this fact that uh, ju I, I just want to encourage us that God knows what's going on. Uh, he knows the times and places that we are in today. He knows what you are going through. He understands the situation you find yourself in. He knows the kind of distress that it is causing you. He knows the kind of uh, sacrifice that you are beginning to make. And he is still with us. And uh, I just want to maybe encourage you today to take a few moments and just breathe. You know, take a few moments this afternoon, uh, this evening, uh, next, tomorrow morning, whenever it is, to just sit and breathe, to know that God is there, to be still and know that God it will be exalted among the nations. Uh, part of this also is... Uh, I think for us, for me personally, I find myself picking up my phone every like two seconds, scrolling through the news feeds, scrolling through the Facebook feeds, whatever it is, looking for more and more information to kind of digest and to uh, pull into my orbit. And I, the Lord is just asking us, just take this moment to slow down. You know, he's giving us a moment to rest. He's giving us a moment to, to take, uh, take everything in. He's taking us a moment to be with our families in ways that we never have before. So I just want to encourage you today, uh, take a moment, breathe, be still and know that the Lord is still Lord. You know, be still and know that he will be exalted amongst, amongst the nations. The Lord is almighty and he is with us. All right. Uh, just want to give that piece of encouragement to you today. Uh, looking forward to having further conversations with you and, and really just giving you encouraging words and equipping you for the days ahead. Uh, thanks a lot.